It's 3 p.m. in Lowndes County, Georgia. A junior officer was on his way home from a long shift until a last-minute call came in. I don't work on a young man in this truck right here. I'm trying to get him to leave for the last couple hours. He won't do nothing. I don't know if talk or not. The officer calls his buddy over to take a look. It seems they may have trouble getting this guy to talk. Good gracious. A mime sits in the van crying. The junior officer tries to make contact. It soon becomes apparent that normal communication won't work here. You, know, you got the driver's license with you? The driver's license. Do you mind? The senior officer scolds his underling. Obviously, there's only one way to communicate with a mime. You have a license? The officer gets a response, much to his partner's bewilderment. Can you step out and talk? The younger officer can't believe this is working. Stand right there for me, yeah, okay. Where are you going to? Do you understand him? No. You never dealt with these guys before? No, I mean, I know you've seen them, but you know. Well, what he's saying is he's going to a birthday party. The officer had hoped to be home by now. Instead, he's stuck in a bizarre game of charades. He decides the best way out of this is to play along. You understand him? I got the part about balloons and stuff. Oh. Baseball, <laughs> yeah. oh, he's going to Atlanta to a birthday party and he forgot his balloons. And so that's why he's been crying and that's why he just parked right here. The junior officer is trying to remember which class at the academy prepared him for this. Some of these guys can be dangerous. I, I don't know if he's one of them or not. The mime seems harmless enough, but a call to dispatch soon tells them otherwise. I've got a possible match out of Roswell. Can you give me a physical? 5'8", uh, about 180, uh, 180, black hair and a white face. Despite the mime's hopes, they soon learn he's a fugitive. The junior officer thought he knew every face on the wanted list. She said wanted? It's time to take this clown in unless he can explain himself. You understand him? Did you see what he just said? No, he says I'm... What he's saying is that he's got a brother that looks, looks just like him, and that he's mean, uh, and he goes around laughing about it and blames it on you because y'all look just alike. The junior officer is at a complete loss for words which might come in handy as he tries to make the arrest. Well, we're gonna have to arrest him. John, we're going to have to arrest you. Billy, go ahead and uh, mime him his rights. The officer isn't sure he heard correctly. Mime him his rights, he can't understand you. It's a bizarre command, but a senior officer knows best. So the trainee proceeds to say the most absurd thing anyone could ever say to a mime. Yeah, the rider may silent. The mime agrees, but he does have one more piece of information to share. Anything else you want to show us before you go to jail? Pictures. Movies. movies? You got a movie of him? Where? Look right in there. Look in the white van behind you. Son, I think he's just been pranked. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> The junior officer is able to laugh at himself. You're a good sport, he admits buddy. he <laughs> fell for the gag completely. I've also got one crazy individual with me. <laughs> now when he goes home, he'll have a different kind of story to tell. I got the car by balloons and stuff. A story about the prank that was worth a thousand words. <laughs>